Richard Feynman's approach to research and invention is celebrated for its clarity, creativity, and relentless curiosity. He believed that to truly understand a complex problem, one must break it down into its simplest components. Feynman's methodology often began with asking, what is really happening here? A question that drove him to develop simplified models and thought experiments to strip away unnecessary complexity. For example, when he developed his famous Feynman diagrams in quantum electrodynamics, he visualized interactions between particles as simple lines and vertices, making complex calculations more intuitive and manageable. This visualization not only clarified the underlying physics, but also revolutionized how scientists approach quantum field theory. Feynman also emphasized the importance of hands-on experimentation and direct observation. He famously participated in experiments that verified his theories, believing that one must feel the physics through practical engagement. His insistence on verifying results led him to develop unique problem-solving techniques, such as his famous cargo cult science critique. He argued that scientific work must maintain integrity by being open, reproducible, and free of self-deception. How does this insistence on experimental evidence influence the reliability of scientific findings? Feynman's approach ensures that theories are not only elegant but also grounded in observable reality. Another key aspect of Feynman's inventive methodology was his use of analogies and cross-disciplinary thinking. He would often draw parallels between seemingly unrelated areas to gain new insights. For instance, his insights into the behavior of electrons sometimes drew on analogies from classical mechanics, allowing him to predict unexpected quantum behaviors. This method of linking diverse ideas encourages a fresh perspective on problems that might otherwise seem intractable. How can this technique be applied today? By looking beyond the confines of a single discipline, modern researchers can unlock innovative solutions in fields ranging from material science to artificial intelligence. Feynman's unique teaching style also reflected his research philosophy. He was known for his ability to explain complicated concepts in simple, accessible terms, a practice that not only educated others but also reinforced his own understanding. His lectures and writings, such as the Feynman Lectures on Physics, are exemplary of how clarity of thought and communication are essential to both research and invention. This method of teaching encourages an iterative process of questioning, simplifying, and re-explaining, which can be a powerful tool for problem-solving in any scientific discipline. In essence, Feynman's research and inventive methodologies combine deep inquiry with practical experimentation and creative analogies. By breaking problems into simpler parts, verifying ideas through experiments, and connecting diverse concepts, he set a standard for scientific exploration that continues to inspire. Could these techniques, simple modeling, rigorous testing, and interdisciplinary thinking, be the key to unlocking future breakthroughs? Feynman's legacy suggests that maintaining a curious, open mind and a commitment to clarity can lead to profound discoveries and innovations. Feynman believed in breaking down complex problems to their fundamental principles rather than relying on existing assumptions or standard models. His methodology involved decomposing a problem into its most basic elements, understanding its governing laws, and then building solutions from the ground up. This method allowed him to solve problems in quantum mechanics, fluid dynamics, and nanotechnology, making fundamental discoveries that others overlook. His approach is widely used in engineering, physics, artificial intelligence, and business innovation today. Feynman's path integral formulation of quantum mechanics emerged from rethinking particle motion using sum over histories, a radically different approach from Schrodinger's wave function. It's like learning how to cook by understanding the chemistry of ingredients rather than just following a recipe. Feynman developed a learning method where he would teach complex concepts in the simplest terms possible. This required breaking down topics into clear, concise explanations, ensuring no gaps in understanding, and removing unnecessary complexity. If something couldn't be explained in plain language, it meant the concept wasn't fully understood. This technique is widely used by scientists, educators, and students to deepen comprehension. Feynman explained quantum mechanics using analogies, such as describing electron behavior as an infinite number of interfering probability waves. It's like explaining a rocket launch to a five-year-old by using a balloon as an analogy, making difficult ideas relatable. 
<laughs> Feynman often used thought experiments to explore new scientific concepts before testing them experimentally. By visualizing electron behavior, wave particle duality, and quantum interactions, he developed novel theories that revolutionized physics. His famous double slit experiment analysis clarified how observation affects quantum systems. Thought experiments allowed him to navigate the unseen world of quantum mechanics intuitively. Feynman's analysis of quantum electrodynamics, QED, used diagrams, Feynman diagrams, to visualize and simplify complex particle interactions. It's like playing a chess game in your mind to predict your opponent's moves without needing a physical board. Feynman believed that scientific research should be driven by curiosity and a playful mindset rather than rigid formalism. He emphasized the importance of tinkering with problems, questioning assumptions, and exploring unusual ideas. His approach led to discoveries in nanotechnology, quantum computation, and fluid dynamics. He often engaged in unrelated challenges like cracking safes, playing bongo drums, or studying Mayan mathematics to stimulate creativity. Feynman's playful experiments with superfluid helium led to deeper insights into quantum vortices and macroscopic quantum effects. It's like learning how a clock works by taking it apart and playing with the gears rather than just reading about it. Feynman revolutionized quantum physics with Feynman diagrams, a graphical notation to represent particle interactions in quantum electrodynamics, QED. <laughs> These diagrams simplified the complex mathematical calculations of subatomic interactions, making quantum mechanics more intuitive and computationally feasible. By treating particles as paths in spacetime, Feynman transformed how physicists approach particle physics and quantum field theory. Today, Feynman diagrams are widely used in particle physics, condensed matter physics, and quantum field calculations. Feynman diagrams allowed precise calculations of electron-photon interactions, leading to the most accurate predictions in physics. It's like using a simple flowchart to explain a complex business process, making intricate details easier to follow. Feynman's lectures on physics, particularly the Feynman lectures on physics, transformed the way science is taught. He emphasized conceptual clarity, intuition, and real-world connections rather than rote memorization or mathematical formalism. His ability to communicate deep physics concepts in engaging and accessible ways made him one of the greatest teachers in scientific history. His lectures continue to inspire students in physics, engineering, and computer science today. Feynman's lecture on quantum mechanics and the double-split experiment remains a cornerstone for physics education worldwide. It's like learning music from a passionate musician rather than a dry textbook, making the subject more engaging. Feynman played a critical role in investigating the 1986 Challenger space shuttle disaster using scientific reasoning and hands-on experimentation to uncover the cause. He demonstrated that O-rings in the shuttle's solid rocket boosters lost flexibility in cold temperatures, leading to failure. His simple but direct approach placing an O-ring in ice water to show its rigidity, provided definitive evidence. His report criticized bureaucratic failures and risk miscalculations, emphasizing the importance of scientific integrity in engineering. His direct physical demonstration of O-ring failure led NASA to redesign shuttle components to improve safety. It's like testing a rubber band in a freezer to see if it snaps more easily rather than relying on theoretical predictions. In 1959, Feynman gave a visionary talk titled, There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom, predicting the rise of nanotechnology decades before it became a field. He described how scientists could manipulate atoms and molecules at the nanoscale to create smaller, faster, and more efficient materials. This idea later influenced the development of molecular nanotechnology, quantum dots, and atomic scale engineering. His insights continue to shape research in nanoelectronics, biomedical engineering, and quantum materials. Modern advances in scanning tunneling microscopy, STM, and atomic force microscopy, AFM, align with Feynman's predictions about manipulating atoms. It's like building a city one brick at a time. But at the scale of individual atoms, Feynman was one of the first scientists to propose quantum computing, suggesting that quantum systems could simulate nature more efficiently than classical computers.
His insights into quantum superposition and entanglement laid the foundation for today's quantum algorithms, quantum cryptography, and quantum artificial intelligence. He envisioned a future where quantum systems solve complex problems in physics, chemistry, and computation, outperforming classical approaches. His ideas have directly influenced modern efforts to develop scalable quantum computers. Feynman's concept of quantum simulation has led to quantum computers being used for drug discovery, material design, and artificial intelligence. It's like solving a maze by exploring all possible paths at once, rather than going step by step.